I'm going to show you in this video some of the software that you need to make a Khan Academy style video and uh, show you around the Smooth Draw program, which is what Sal and I use to make the videos. So the first piece of software that you need is something to record your screen, something to actually make a video out of what you're doing. And what I use is Front Cam. And this is $10 or $15 online. There's a free version where uh, it puts a little tag up in the corner that says this is unregistered front cam. So for 10 or 15 bucks, you can have a fully functioning version. That's a lot better than, or a lot cheaper than the one Sal uses. He uses Cam Studio, I believe is the name. And that one is about a hundred dollars, and it's a little better. It, it for just for just these videos, front cam works perfectly fine for me. This is what I use. It's got record. You know, you hit that, and then you go input uh, fixed region, and then you can just drag a little rectangle across what you want to record, and then it'll record. You hit stop when you're done. It's pretty uh, pretty simple. It, it records your voice from whatever microphone you have. It records whatever area of the screen you have. The next thing, or the next piece of software, is the Smooth Draw 3 program. And this is free online. This you only really need if you have the, the Wacom Bamboo tablet thing to draw on, because it's pressure sensitive and I have prepared for you down in the comment section or the info I guess this video template that I use and you can download this for me or you can make your own it's just a black background and I have a layer of music uh, manuscript lines but you know you could put another layer for graph paper if you want and, and then the top layer is for your doodles and you pick a color from the color picker over here. I have I have Khan Academy yellow selected right now and then I can oh if it if it does this thing you can hit plus compatibility and it'll usually work out better for you. There's a happy face. Switch to that salmon color. And then to well I'll show you the pen tool is what I use around 3 I, this is just my guess of what Sal's doing, but it looks pretty good, I guess. And then you can select this little rectangle box, lets you select a portion, and then you can copy and paste, and there's keyboard shortcuts, of course. And the advantage of having multiple layers here is then you can drag stuff over and have them overlap without just having a black square overlapping it. And also in here, there's the text feature, and then you can put this is my text or it could be your example question or whatever you want to use this for and then was it font I think this brings up what I want where you can make it um, larger size I think that's under font maybe I just broke everything I'm not sure okay yeah so then I would put it on like 16 or maybe 18 and then you can drag these around and then you hit submit and then when you hit the submit button it's stuck to the background or or stuck to at least the doodle layer and then so you you know you can do that over and over for new text boxes and if you flip the pen upside down also this is the other advantage oh oh it's not working oh there i have to have pen selected and then you can erase things so that that's the advantage of downloading um, my video template that I just opened, and you you don't save over it. I ha um, you don't save over it. You just open it new every time. That that's the the way it was intended, at least. Um, I guess I'll show you the the actual. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about by Wacom Bamboo Tablet. This is what I have a pen and touch, but you can also get just the pen. The word touch at the end just means you can use it with your fingers also. But for for writing words and drawing pictures, this will do fine. So $70. Eh, if you want it, if you can borrow a friend's, whatever. It's not all that expensive. And you can you can use your mouse. The only disadvantage of using your mouse, I, I just set down my pen and now I'll use yellow again. I try to write my name. Oh, where is it? 
Well, I guess that is a problem. Huh. Well, if you use your mouse, it generally... There it is. Um, you see, you don't have the variance in thickness that you would otherwise, if I write my name, versus if I do it with the pen. See, I can draw thin lines, I can have thick lines, and you, know, you can see very thin, very thick, just by my by my natural pressure. So that helps with drawing also. And I, I don't know if you have any more questions, feel free to contact me. I have loads of free time and I like helping people with this. My email address is caninepete, my name's not Pete, my name's Parker, at gmail.com and I, if there's anything that I wasn't clear on, I, I would love to re-record this video or, or I can work with you individually. So go make videos and hopefully we can all get on the actual Khan Academy soon.